Hey guys, how are ya? You guys have been fighting the Covenant for over 15 years, whether you're the Chief, the Arbiter, Noble Six, or the Rookie. But do you know how it all started? It wasn't during the events of Halo 1, or even the events of Halo Reach. To talk about this, we gotta go way back to the year 2524, on a planet called Harvest. Harvest was an agricultural planet on the fringes of human-occupied space, and was home to some 270,000 people toward the end. At one point, your boy Avery Johnson was sent planetside for reasons unknown. He soon found out he was sent to train a militia for defense against insurrectionists. At this point, we know that insurrection was the least of their worries. Cargo ships offloading produce to other planets were suddenly being lost in space and, due to being autonomous in nature, had no human pilots to explain what was happening. Until, there was a singular ship manned by one human captain, who was discovered to be KIA. Under Oni law, Johnson and his fellow Sergeant Byrne were sent aboard a cargo ship to stow away and investigate. Now would be a good time to tell the other side of the story. So there are two important Covenant characters aboard a ship full of Kig Yar. One is a grunt deacon named Adab, which is the highest rank a grunt can achieve. The second is a Huragok, or engineer, named Lighter Than Some, which may seem like a weird name, but remember, the engineers are named based upon how they float. Anyway, the Jackal ship had been raiding the human cargo ships and taking their communication systems. They found these ships as they were patrolling the edges of Covenant-controlled space. During the interim between ship raids, Dadab and Lighter Than Some would spend time in Dadab's personal methane bay. The Grunt would play a game where he killed some of the pest grub creatures that stood away and fed on parts of the ship. Lighter Than Some told him his game was murder, but was soon taught to play as well. When the Jackal ship came across the ship with the captain, they didn't expect him to be there. In a surprise attack, the captain beat the crap out of Dadab with a fire extinguisher and nearly killed him, only stopped by the Lighter Than Some throwing a rock at the back of his head. This killed the human, and Lighter Than Some wiggled his tentacles in engineer sign language to say, one, as in he got one point in the game Dadab was used to playing. The only reason he killed this human was to protect his only friend, as he later redeemed himself in the eyes of the humans. When Oni staged an attack placing Johnson and Byrne on a cargo ship, the two got more than they were bargaining for. Three jackals jumped in with Needler cutlasses, basically Needler swords that still exploded when embedded into an enemy's body. So this makes the first human death at Covenant hands done by an engineer, and the first Covenant to be seen and killed by humans were jackals. But what happened next? Johnson and his squad prepared a peace meeting for the Covenant cruiser that came to rescue Dadab and Lighter Than Sun. The real reason they came was because the jackal ship had a luminary, a Forerunner device that leads to Forerunner items and relics. The Luminary had shown hundreds of thousands of relics, or so they thought. The actual symbol shown was that for Reclaimer, and was actually marking all the humans on planet. This led to a ton of events, including Tartarus becoming Chieftain of the Brutes, and a new trio of Prophets taking control of the Covenant. Oh yeah, did I mention Tartarus was on the cruiser? More on that in an upcoming video. Either way, the Brutes on board the ship, which was stripped bare bones and had no elites on board, dropped to the surface for the meeting. After growing impatient at political discourse and language barriers, the Brutes attacked and began killing humans, prompting the humans to plan an escape with as many lives as possible. Using the planet's orbital elevators once used to ship cargo of produce, almost all of Harvest's population made it off-world before ships came and began glassing it. And so the Human Covenant War had begun. A few more interesting facts before we end. Lighter Than Some actually created the first prototypes for the Brute Chopper scene in Halo 3, out of some parts from two dropships that had been destroyed, as Dadab's life pod crashed into the hangar of the ship. This story also included the beginning of Private Jenkins' unfortunate life, as his parents were killed by Covenant on World. This book is also the only one I can currently think of in which two AI have a romantic relationship, namely Sif and Mac, the two AI that care for Harvest. Hey guys, thanks for watching. What did you think of an engineer being the first Covenant to kill a human? Of course, a lot of details from the book didn't make it into the video, but fear not. You can find the book for around $10 online, written by Joseph Staten himself, the lead story artist for the Bungie-era Halos. 
Well, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit that like button, subscribe, and watch another. See you next time.